Republicans moved to turn the FBI's search of former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate into a campaign issue on Tuesday, vowing to probe what they alleged was political interference at the Justice Department. House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy tweeted, quote, When Republicans take back the House, we will conduct immediate oversight of this department, follow the facts, and leave no stone unturned, telling Attorney General Merrick Garland to, quote, clear your calendar. As for Trump, he and some Republican campaign committees tried to turn the news to their benefit, citing the investigation in text messages and emails soliciting political donations from his supporters. Trump's followers were rallying outside his Mar-a-Lago estate Tuesday, moved by the former president's claim of harassment. What the FBI just did was totally unacceptable. Kyle Kondik is a political analyst at the University of Virginia Center for Politics. He says Trump and Republicans are creating a narrative amid an information vacuum. Well, look, I mean, Trump is great at playing the victim. Um, and again, Trump is going to be able to say more about this and frame this in, in ways that I don't think the FBI necessarily will, um, because the FBI, DOJ, is, are, they're typically pretty closed lip about the, or tight lipped about these things and into the vacuum of, of information about what happened. Trump and Republicans fill that vacuum by basically casting this as some sort of witch hunt. The unprecedented search of the home of a former president on Monday marks a significant escalation of the federal investigation into whether Trump illegally removed classified records from the White House as he was leaving office in January of 2021. A federal law called the U.S. Presidential Records Act requires the preservation of memos, letters, notes, emails, faxes, and other written communications related to a president's official duties. Any search of a private residence would have to be approved by a judge after the investigating law enforcement agency demonstrated probable cause that a search was justified. It almost certainly would be approved by FBI Director Christopher Wray, a Trump appointee, and his boss, Attorney General Garland, who was appointed by President Joe Biden. Mitchell Eppner, a former federal prosecutor, says the Justice Department wouldn't have moved without a good reason. They believe that there is something very important that they're investigating that would have major consequences if proven. 